What's up guys, welcome back as we jump right back into the action with China versus Beth Phoenix in the semifinals of the women's tournament for the DSW Women's Championship. Uh, Trish Stratus will face the winner of this match. This is a match I've thought about for a while, for years. The Glamazon versus the Ninth Wonder. The the only the the first two women to have appeared in a men's Royal Rumble individually. And eliminate someone. Yeah, absolutely. You China, know, the first woman to win the Intercontinental I, Championship. I was just about to make a comment about something like that. It's kind of a shame. Uh, Beth Phoenix, they never let Beth Phoenix try to run for a mid-card title. And, and you know, it, it's it's a travesty. A tragedy. As you it is it. a tragedy. That is a, that is now a word uh, here in uh, Dreamscape <laughs> Wrestling. <laughs> but Beth Phoenix ha may have her chance here uh, to capture her first gold and proclaim herself as one of the greatest mm -hmm. of all time. Multiple-time women's champion, uh, a Hall of Famer. Both of these women Hall of Famers in their own right, although technically China kind of got... She she got the south side of uh, of her Hall of Fame induction to uh, be fair. Absolutely, but here she comes with the bazooka in hand. One of my favorite entrances of the late of the early two thousands. Uh, once she went out, once she went solo, broke out on her own, stepped away from Triple H and DX's shadow. Uh, just just a powerhouse of a performer. Don't treat her like a woman. Don't treat her like a man. She knows who she is. And, and you know, what, has there ever been, even with Beth Phoenix, has there ever been a more powerful force to come through the women's division in WWE? In recent years, uh, not yet. No. I mean, you I would can I, make I, an I, argument for AEW's Jade Cargill. Uh, I would say Rhea, Rhea, Rhea Ripley, Ripley is, is is definitely coming up there. Um, but the physique, the look of these two women. Um, just the fact that they've gotten in the ring with men uh, in a time when it was raw. Taboo. It was taboo, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a better way to say it. Um, but now now you see women on the same level with men, except in WWE. Yeah, and here we go. But this is, this is Dreamscape Wrestling, um, where anything can anything happen. Anything can happen. And um, uh, China... Manhandling Beth Phoenix. Now this now China has won a women's title in her own right uh, once, uh, and she lost it to Ivory uh, after uh, after uh, a neck injury, which took her out for months. Beth Phoenix trying for a camel clutch, but China is just too strong, just breaking right out of it. Actually, you know, I got I got to reverse. I got to I got to take that back. My my history is wrong there. Uh, China's neck injury came before her women's title run, uh, reign. She would win the women's title at WrestleMania 17, which is by far one of probably the best oh, WrestleManias yeah. of all time. 17, 18, 19 was just a good run. No, uh, 17, 19. I mean, 18 is great, but it, 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 it's not on the same level as it's 17. Rock Hogan. Se I, mean, I mean, yes. Rock Hogan. Come on. <laughs> Fair, fair. It, it, I, I think I think it's it's just because it was an uh, an a heavy card. Yeah, I think I that's that. that's part of the problem. And with the crowd it. was very dead for the main event. That's true. Um, well, I mean, how do you follow Rock Hogan? Yeah, then you shouldn't have. That's right. that's that's that's. But no, seventeen, eighteen. What is China doing on the top? Seventeen for here? sure. Eighteen, nineteen. Oh, definitely. God. Twenty and twenty-one. Those that just that era. Amazing, Ama just, amazing, and and you could and you could have done it without performers like China. I know Beth Phoenix wasn't around then, but she was definitely coming up in she the ranks. Definitely could have hung. Oh, absolutely, and, especially uh, with the women's division at the time, because the women's division at the time was was still in that divas phase. Mm -hmm. But you had you had women like you had women like Molly Holly, uh, you had Jazz, oh Big DDT, Victoria, from China. and and you know this match. China's been kind of manhandling Beth Phoenix so far. Uh, I think Beth Phoenix is off her guard. There's that handspring elbow. China's if, known for. If, if there was anything you gotta admire about China with her size and power, it's that. Oh. That 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 flexibility. That pedigree. That pedigree. That could be it. And that oh. is it. Oh. China with Triple H's with finisher. a definitive victory. 
Oh. So it will. So now it's gonna be Trish Stratus versus China for the women's title. But it, oh, it, look at this. They, there may be uh, Beth Phoenix throwing throwing the sign of respect here, and, and China accepting it. I love to see that from these two competitors. You know, it's it it means a lot when you have two performers of that caliber just going in there and just fighting it out to see who's the better so person. So it will be Trish Stratus versus China for the Dreamscape Women's Championship. But now, ladies and gentlemen, our main event of the evening... The 30-man Royal Rumble. A Royal Rumble blitz. Blitz. You want Dreamscape to? Wrestling's own spin on the Royal Rumble where there is 30 seconds now in between competitors. Oh, crap. Oh, so we're, we're, we're really running it off here. Absolutely, and we'll, t we'll take it out to the announcer for the rules. The two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all 30 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble And who's number one? We will find out now, and it is... It is... It's, the Million it's, Dollar Man! It's, it's Ted. Everybody's got a price! Ted's number one. Ted DiBiase throwing his hat in the ring for the first ever Dreamscape Heavyweight Undisputed Champion of the World? And, you know, I mean, can you argue that he deserves it? I mean, this man has never held a heavyweight championship. Outs if you, I mean, you can't count when he bought the title from Andre the Giant because yeah. that, that doesn't count because the title was immediately vacated. But this, this is a man. He is a second generation performer, a quality quality athlete. He 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 should have been a champion. Major character, absolutely Major one character. of the best characters of the uh, late eighties, early nineties. <laughs> Definitely a, a a product of his time, but one of the greatest villains uh, professional wrestling has ever seen. Um, uh, my niece and I we have a running joke because uh, we we watched all the Royal Rumbles at one point. Ted was number four, uh, so he will always be he number four. He, oh, uh, that's gotta be Kane! It's gotta be Kane! And, and uh, coming off of a loss. He has got to be in a foul mood. This does not bode well for Ted DiBiase. You know, Ted, a bad mood Kane is never someone you want to be in the ring you with. You know, uh, DiBiase has said everybody's got a million, uh, or everybody has a price for the million dollar man. But, but I, I think Drew Carey found out differently mm, in that one Royal Rumble. Oh, absolutely. That Kane was, does not have a price. That was 2001, and Kane did not. Uh, did not feel like playing around. He was there for. He was there. All business. Kerry was at the wrong place at the wrong time. The man who holds the records for the single most... No, he, he used to hold used the He used to record. hold it, but lost it to Roman Reigns he in did. 2013. But uh, he held that record for for, for 12 years. 12 years. And there's a big flapjack, and there you go. There's the frustration of Kane after losing the tag team title match earlier tonight. Kane's definitely going to need to work quickly. Wearing down DBS because, like you said, Francis, this is a this is and, a Royal Rumble blitz. And here we every, go. Every First, thirty seconds, uh, another out. another another wrestler. We're not calling them super. These men are wrestlers. Every thirty minutes, another and it's thirty X seconds. Another, every thirty seconds, another wrestler will be coming into the ring. Yes, X Pac comes out, and he has a history with Kane. Will he former team tag up with Kane? former tag team partners? No, he will not. He immediately turns this on Kane. This is every man for himself. X Pac wants to be the first. DSW undisputed champions of the world of the universe. X Pac never got his credit throughout his career. A light heavyweight champion, a tag team champion, I believe a European champion. This man also another underrated performer. And look at like just like that, like the snap. Another one, and, and there's the Undertaker. Just like Kane, fresh off of that loss for the tag team titles with the APA coming in, it looks like him. It looks like uh. Undertaker going after X Pac here. The Helping bro his brother out. The brothers might be teaming up, but again, every man for himself. Um, you also have to wonder about the wear and tear from the earlier that's, match. That's absolutely right. The 
What condition are the Brothers of Destruction in going into this uh, Royal Rumble? Right now they are in full control, so I would say they're fine right now. Big Spybuster by Kane. The next uh, and competitor. Here comes in. the excellence of execution. Oh, after that horrible, horrible early elimination, there goes DiBiase. DiBiase is out. And Bret Hart. Taking a kick from X Pac there. Eliminated early and unjustly in the Intercontinental Championship. But he has Battle another Royal. but he has an opportunity here to become a world champion. world a world champion once again. When you talk about the greats and men who carried a generation, Bret, you, Hart's Bret Hart is list. up there. Bret Hart definitely up there. Absolutely. And here now, comes the villain. The villain himself, William Regal, who eliminated Bret Hart uh, in the earlier Intercontinental Battle Royal. Can William Regal do the same thing again? Can he eliminate Bret Hart? And he. He eliminates the Undertaker! Oh my god. Oh my god! I, 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 I just I lost my words there because what? of what I just saw. William Regal has eliminated Bret Hart and the Undertaker from a Battle Royal in the same night! William Regal is on a different level coming into DSW. This is a fresh start for these men. This is a fresh start for William Regal. Again, another man. And this enigma has arrived. Another man who has never held a, a world championship. But when you talk about somebody who has held the world championship, Jeff Hardy is definitely one of them. Uh, Jeff Hardy's underrated title reigns, though. So you talk about, when you talk about underrated, you talk about Jeff Hardy. I mean, you immediately go to that main event on that Raw, the ladder match against, against the Undertaker. Undertaker, one of the toughest outings ever, and and a lot of people switched to being a fan of Jeff Hardy that night. I was a fan of Jeff Hardy before then. He just um, made me a, yeah, more a lot of, a, of people were made but, me more of a fan then. His his determination and his grit. But here comes the Viper, the uh, Apex uh, Predator, the Legend Killer. Champion. The, the the very definition of a generational talent. Absolutely. Randy Orton, a third generation wrestler, uh, one of the greatest performers of this generation. Uh, what can what can you not say about Randy Orton? Already another competitor coming in this, this match is this match is gonna go this match is going quick and hard and it looks like William Regal has been busted open already and, and the five time oh. Six. The six-time, six-time world six champion time. Booker T. You can't forget about his uh, his historic title run as as King of the Ring. That's King, right, King Booker. That's right. I forgot King Booker did hold Shame big on you gold for forgetting about point. King That's Booker. That's my fault. I didn't forget about King Booker. I forgot that King Booker held big big gold. Defeating Rey Mysterio for the for the World Heavyweight Championship back in two thousand six. Uh, King Booker, a six-time world champion, uh, two-time two -time Hall of Famer in Booker T. And now and the, the Nature Boy. Champ, again, this this is a plethora of championships. 16-time world champion, Ric Flair, one of the greatest to ever lace a pair of boots no, and strut in no, the ring. Let's slow down here for a second because when you say world champion, Ric Flair is one of the first names out of Everyone's mouth has to be, has to be the greatest of all time. I, I would say one of the greatest. It, it, to be honest, greatness is is mildly subjective. But I'm not I'm not discrediting Flair at all. Absolutely, absolutely not. You can't dirtiest player in the game. Sixteen time champion again. A, a, a statement that can't be stressed enough. This this man. Held title reigns for held held titles for years, and and this is coming from a time when territories were a thing, and he would have to travel to all these other promotions to face their top guys to solidify the fact that he was the greatest Absolutely. champion. Absolutely, um, his his historic rivalries with 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 Sting with Ricky. Oh, Sting Randy Orton's gone, and here comes Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Diesel is out in the ring. Randy Orton is gone. That is a surprise. That I thought Randy Orton would would go deep into this uh, rumble. Here. Out of out of this rumble, uh, X Pac is the is, longest is, in is right has now, been the yeah. longest in. Kane right behind him, and Kane and Diesel just going back and forth. Big DDT there. Uh, William Regal still in the match. This is this is again this is a blinking you might miss it match. 
But it looks like uh, these men have uh, started to kind of figure out their pace here. Wait a minute, we have another we have another wrestler and, coming and in. You know, you Did I lose count? No. Am, I, am I losing count here? I thought. What no, we at? we're not full yet. And here comes the, the Macho Man. Macho Man. Bonesaw is coming. He's got you for three minutes. And Kane's been eliminated. Down goes Kane. Diesel has eliminated As Kane. As one comes in, one goes out. In this. Right. And, and I wanted to talk door. to you real quick about William Regal. We talked about his underratedness a little bit, but you have to admit... His in-ring work rivals Bret Hart. Oh, absolutely. It, it's on par with that of Bret Hart. If not, just just the smidgen better that that, yeah. England, that, that British style of wrestling absolutely. Uh, versus that Canadian style uh, that Bret's learned, passed down from his father, Stu, uh, worked with his brothers. Uh, it's, 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 it's just so parallel in, in certain natures, but just ever so contrasting. And uh, looks like you we're getting ready never to... never count out William Regal. No, Sir absolutely William not. Regal. And now... Ladies and gentlemen, the, bad, the guy. bad guy is here. It might not be the Razor, but it's definitely Scott Hall. And now... A, the Outsiders. A version of the Outsiders are in the ring together. This is, this is interesting. Actually, not just the Outsiders. We have a little variation of the NWO here. The Click. Now they fight. The now they have a, immediately go after the, each other. The, but again, the like Click is said, in the ring, but it's every man for himself. Absolutely. And now Hall, absolutely. Hall taking it. Regal's been eliminated. Well, Regal's gone. Regal oh, is it's, gone. It's a shame. It's a shame. Did we jinx him? I think we yeah, jinxed him. We might have jinxed him. But now, now the Click is in the ring. Scott Hall. Take, had, had taken it to Kevin Nash and now working on Booker T. And it looks like X Pac teaming up with his uh, his NWO click brother there to work on Booker T. Ric Flair dropping the big elbow on Randy Savage here. Um, a lot of history with a lot of these men in the ring. Absolutely, and and you know, I mean, how many championships have been in the ring so far? Right now, as far as world championships, one too many to count. And we're only halfway through the Rumble. Oh my gosh. Who else could be at D D S W? Any, anybody could show up. And here comes here comes here comes Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero one has of, entered the building. One of the greatest performers of, of 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 our generation. One of the greatest Again, title wins of all time. The to the no way out 2004 this granted this is a much younger Eddie Guerrero though. it is this it is a is. this is a younger Eddie Guerrero more technical a lot faster yeah absolutely uh multiple time WCW United States champion uh WCW cruiserweight champion uh started the LWO this is this is a man who was technical excellence during a time when um when the big guys were, were running supreme and and they fought, and they had to fight to prove that they that they were just as entertaining as as the big names as as Hall Nash Hogan on, in WCW. Absolutely, and you go back to that rivalry we talked about earlier in the show between him and Rey Mysterio that just paved one of, the way one of the, for cruiserweights. One of the greatest set of or er, 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 jet a uh, series of matches between. Two similar styles um, in Lucha Libre, uh, paving the way for a newer generation of, of cruiserweights, of luchadors. Um, just some of the best, amazing uh, performances that I've uh, that I've ever seen. Um, and there's there's a there's a bit of a um, there's a bit of a, of a regret that I that I was unaware of a lot of this wrestling growing up because I didn't catch it until much later. And right now, Scott Booker oh, T just Kevin eliminating Nash. Diesel. Oh, and, and looks, could that be a little hangover bad blood from WCW? It, it might be. It might be. But did you see the way Booker T had Big yeah. Daddy Cole just slung over his shoulders and then just tossing him back over the ropes? And he, he leans on his athleticism and strikes more, but Booker T, you cannot count out his strength. No, absolutely not. He's a five. He's a he's a six-time world champion, five-time WCW champion for a reason, and here comes and here comes another sixteen-time champion. Absolutely, John Cena is coming to the ring, and uh, he'll be there the any champ, minute now. The champ is here. Oh, where wait. is he? I don't know. I can't see him. Oh wait, no, there he is. <laughs> there, there he is. Oh, sorry. And Cena, oh, with, big Cena flip. with the code red on Eddie Guerrero. Oh, you know Eddie called that. 
Um, yeah, he's got he's got he's got to make Cena look good. Somebody's got to make Cena look good. But no, no, no discredit. No, look, honestly, no discredit to Cena because while he's not one of the greatest performers, and he eliminates Eddie Guerrero. Eddie, while Cena's not one of the greatest technical performers, he's one of the single greatest entertainers. entertainers. Speaking and of which, he, he, Hulk Hogan, the legend himself, Hulkamania has entered the ring, and and look at this plethora of champions. Look at look at uh, look at who we have in the ring, Hogan. Hart. And Hogan goes. Savage. And Hart goes Blair, immediately after Hogan. Paul, Booker you remember, T. Cena. You remember Yokozuna, I believe it was, beating Bret Hart. And then Hogan. For the championship. And then Hogan coming out. And taking advantage of a tired Yokozuna to take the title for him. Shut and be- becoming, a, I believe, a seven time WWF champion. Um, geez, just Showing just, a little bit of his heel side early. And, in, and Bret Hart, Bret Hart tried, tried to eliminate to... Hogan, but Cena saves him, ironically enough. And here comes the pain. Oh, the beast incarnate. I've been waiting to say that for a long he, time. He comes. Suplex City. Brock Lesnar is in the I was just going to say, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Suplex City. And immediately City. after John Cena. The rival. For the 18th suplex the now. The history between these two. Oh, my God. Lesnar's return in 2012. And another suplex. How many suplexes did he hit on John Cena in that match? I think it was match? 15. So I think suplex. this is now 17. It could be more. 18. It could be more. Suplexes uninterrupted Hogan before John Cena gets any offense on Brock Hogan Lesnar. almost eliminated Hall throwing Booker T over the top rope on the corner. And Hall working on Booker T. Up and and he Booker eliminates T's him. Eliminated. Hall Booker is, T is gone. Scott Hall is another one of those underrated performers. Oh, Cena's two gone. More, two more. Cena and... Someone else, someone else win. I, 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 I missed it. it uh, I think I'm pretty sure X Pac has been out for a while. Yeah, no, uh, it's been, uh, it's been moving on. But now down to Hulk Hogan, Brock Lesnar, Scott Hall, Ric Flair, and the Macho Man Randy Savage. A, a plethora of generational wrestling here. Granted, and there's still 13 more. I'm so, uh, no offense, I've lost, I lost track of what number we were at. We're at 18. And it looks like Ric Flair is about to cut. Ric Flair is about to journey into Suplex City. Um, oh God, they're turning Les- to dust. Le- no kidding. Yeah. Lesnar starting to work on uh, Macho Man here, and here comes and here comes the here comes up one of our new DSW Tag Team Champions, Farouk, and there goes Macho Man. Brock Lesnar, the first African American World Champion, like you said. Brock Lesnar just. Cleaning Lesnar is cleaning house here. He has and been eliminating. Per usual. He has been eliminating uh, wrestlers back and forth. Uh, this man is on a tear. This man might become Who our can first champion. Who stop Brock Lesnar? Uh, that's the question. Uh, that's this version of Brock Lesnar is I mean, unstoppable. If, if Roman Reigns show up, he might. Or Goldberg. <laughs> The man they call Goldberg. And this is a and this is a young Goldberg. This is WCW prime Goldberg. This is Goldberg. Oh, and Ric Flair hits him, and, and Goldberg just laughs at him as he starts to wear down Ric Flair. You have two monsters in the ring in Goldberg and Brock Lesnar. Two men who have faced each other uh, in the WWE. So who takes them out? That's a good question. That it, it's gonna I, come. It might come down to them. It, it might. One of those Who two men. Who else is gonna be in DSW? Depends. Oh, here comes except the Andre the Giant. Here comes the biggest seven foot athlete. Look at him. In he is history. head and shoulders the, over some of the largest competitors in WWE history. The eighth wonder of the world. And a big DDT for Brock Lesnar, but. This is the gate. the The playing field has changed. Look, the look, fact that Andre the Giant is here. Look, I, I, I no, no, nothing, to, nothing to Andre, but, be, but large men have fallen to the likes of Brock Lesnar. That is true. That is true. But and now, time to play the, the game. game. The cerebral assassin immediately showing the DX as he. M- uh, begins to rain down. Oh, super a kick. Big kick from Goldberg. But now Hogan trying to take down Triple H. Triple H. Too smart for that. And, and now, now Ric Flair oh, and Triple man. H. 
Ooh, two Triple of H. the greatest ring generals of all Triple time. Triple H being attacked by his friend and mentor, Triple H. Uh, at this particular point, do these two men have any uh, camaraderie? Probably not. Oh, I'm sure outside of this match they do, but this is about the DSW Heavyweight Championship and someone just got eliminated. But, this was that is, Scott but, Hall? but again, this is a young flair. That was Scott, Scott Hall, Hall has been eliminated. eliminated. But this is a young flair. This is a flair who has probably had no interaction with Triple H oh, at all. Of course, all. of course. So but. he, so he's, he's, he's just taking. He just sees him as another obstacle to overcome. And that should be all these men because this is about the one thing. The DSW Undisputed Heavyweight Championship. And and Andre, Andre with a huge STO tackle to uh, Brock Lesnar taking the Beast Incarnate down. And now Andre working on Goldberg there. Um, Next competitor out. And it's Jake, Jake the, the Snake. Snake Roberts, the master of the DDT. Uh, Another underrated character. One of the greatest pr promo artists. One of the greatest minds of oh, professional wrestling. Oh, Jake the Snake Roberts. It, is, Mach, is Macho still... No, Macho was eliminated. Okay. So, yeah, Macho's been was, out. Well, worried for a second there if Macho was going to have some issues with Jake being in here after uh, the snake bite. And, oh, Jake ducking that kick beautifully and a big knee lift to Goldberg. Again, uh, Jake Roberts, one of the, one of the greatest minds... In this in this industry, um, ring awareness uh, at its at its highest. I, I, like I'm 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 at a loss for words. You, you, I, I have no other good things to say about Jake the Snake Roberts at this time. Still have ten more, and someone just got eliminated. I think that might have been Farouk. It, it looks like it ha it was Farouk. Yes, yes, Farouk was eliminated. But still, one half of the tag team champions here in DSW, and, and Goldberg. Goldberg. Been eliminated. Lesnar has eliminated Goldberg. Lesnar probably racking up the most eliminations in this Royal Rumble match. I would think so, as he just tosses Hogan around. And Goldberg, which he has done before. Goldberg not happy with his elimination, uh, but say la vie. And now Hogan. Uh, Hogan taking down uh, oh, Ho Hogan Andre. knocking down Lesnar. Lesnar rolling to the under the under the ropes for some safety there. Uh, Andre tried to throw Hogan, but Hogan so uh, who's reversed. Number, I think we're at twenty one now. Who's it going to be? I feel like this match things have started to slow down in this. Jerry match. the King, the Intercontinental Champion, has entered into the Royal Rumble. It looks like Jerry the King Lawler wants to become the first dual belt the champion here in DSW. Hey, I mean, he pulled off the upset in the earlier match. Can he pull off another one tonight? As Jerry the King now going to work with Ric Flair, these two. Look at this standing suplex by Triple H. On Beautifully Robert executed. Here. Beautiful the power executed. of the game, a, a, a wiser, more more seasoned Triple H. Uh, after years of, of, of oh, battle, business is about to pick up. Oh, here comes the rattlesnake. Stone Cold Steve Austin has entered the ring. The greatest performer, entertainer of the of the of the late nineties. The man who who was the embodiment of the Attitude Era. The biggest draw of. All time. And still continues to draw to this day. To this day. If Stone Is Cold there not anyone who's excited to see Kevin Owens fight Stone Cold? I am. I mean, I am. that's going to be something. Not to mention, uh, I will be available for that set, for that WrestleMania. You will be coming. Then, and we will be hanging out. Absolutely. Uh, for that one. But that's that's later on. Right now, yeah, we, have a, we have a Royal Rumble match going on. Because, of course, WrestleMania doesn't exist because we, we're in DSW. All the other brands are going to liquidate anyway. Back into character. Uh, so, uh, again, plethora of champions in the ring. Hulk Hogan in trouble. And there goes Hogan Jake by Snake. The Snake. And as soon as Jake the Snake gets her elimination, Triple H with a beautiful DDT. As Triple H, Triple H eliminated, eliminated Ric Flair. Flair. Holy crap. Triple H eliminating his best friend and mentor. And now Brock Lesnar! Brock Lesnar's gone! Brock Lesnar's gone! Stone I, Cold eliminates Brock Lesnar again! You know, refusing to let Brock Lesnar go over on him again! Man, <laughs> it, it, you, you, you talk about holding a grudge, man. <laughs> Austin not letting him, not letting a, the, the new young guy. Will not, will not, will not. And he's trying to get rid of the giant. He's having trouble. Andre's just holding on. For dear life. And you got to wonder, like, 
with his height, Andre should have probably touched the ground. So to this is the there. next one. And here comes the hot the rod, Roddy, Roddy Piper. Here we go. Another one. Another sound technician. Another Underrated. master. Another master of the mind game. Oh, and one of the best promo artists of all time, Absolutely. Piper's Pit. Ah, the 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 blueprint for the modern wrestling talk show, Piper's Pit. Absolutely. You can't. You can never forget uh, when uh, Jimmy Snuka when he hit Jimmy Snuka with the coconut. Uh-huh. Uh huh. When didn't didn't uh, Andre's turn happen on the Piper's Andre's pit turn team? handed on Piper's? Oh, pit. there's the other half of the tag team champions. Can JBL? Do what Farouk did it and uh, claim the DSW World Championship. They were here. not as lucky as the Brothers of Destruction Absolutely to come in not. at the same time. JBL going after Andre the Giant, but Andre uh, oh. fighting back, and now Andre taking uh, taking out his frustration. Okay, but, uh, who's going to eliminate Andre? Who could possibly eliminate? I think it's going to take more than one man to eliminate. Andre. They've got to start working together at some point. There is there is no way one single man's going to be able to do it. But then again. Uh, other things have happened, and ladies and gentlemen, here comes the most electrifying man in sports and entertainment. Finally, The Rock has come back to Chicago. One of the during an elimination, someone has been eliminated. That Jake, Jake Roberts is out. Jake, Jake Roberts is out. Is but the, and, and, and oh, and someone else. Roddy Piper's gone. Triple H has eliminated Roddy Piper, and now Rock and Austin going at it like. Like, oh, like, like, they never missed a beat. Like, exactly. Thank you. So, thank you. I'm uh, it, it, just rocking Austin. It's it, rocking Austin. It's rocking Austin. Oh, so man. rocking Austin are on one side. JBL is working down Jerry the King Aller. Andre the Giant beating up Triple H. That's 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 a that's a that's, that's, appropriate that's, term. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 utter chaos. Um. Who's gonna win? Who's, 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 who's Andre? No. Andre there goes Triple H. And Triple H has been eliminated. Andre, See you and goodbye. Not playing around. Oh, what oh. a power slam! Now here and, comes Edge. What are those underdog heavyweight champions that I don't think a lot of people thought he was gonna be as good as he was. And he he shut the critics down he right away. Quick, quick. All. all a, a change of pace, a change of face, um, and he, like he just was—he was on a tear in the two thousand. Going straight after JBL, and they have crossed paths before. It's have they though? I think they have. They did not cross paths. <laughs> nope. Edge Edge was busy building himself up on Raw. Big JB, boss man. And JBL was running SmackDown, but here comes big here comes boss the big man boss man. I mean. Great draw for Big Boss Man at 29. Yeah, but whoever's number 30 definitely might have the his pick of the litter here. It's very possible, but, but you know, Big Boss Man, another one of those guys who never really reached the top. No. Solid mid-card villain throughout his entire career, and he just wants that shot to be the first DSW Undisputed Champion. But here we go. Number, number 30. 30. Who's it going to be? Who's got the last pick? Who got the lucky the number? Is number 30 the lucky number? It's, it's Ray, Ray! Ray Mysterio Jr. Ray Ray's here. Ray Ray is here. Ray Mysterio Jr. picking up uh, drawing number 30. Is this going to be Ray Mysterio Jr.'s opportunity here? And, um, and there goes. There goes the king. The king the has been eliminated champion by Stone Cold. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the, these are the last participants in our Royal Rumble. And then there were seven. We have Mysterio Jr., JBL, Edge, Andre the Giant, the Big Boss Man, Stone Cold, and, and the, the Rock. Rock. Who's it gonna be, Man, Francis? So do you have Francis? Do you have a pick? Uh, I, I will make a I will make a pick. I mean, you got to go with the one of the greatest robberies of all time. And the biggest draw of all time. I think Stone Cold is going to win another Royal Rumble. He has won so many in his life. He knows what it takes to win this match. You know, he knows what it takes to go to the distance. I'm, I'm probably going to go a little uh, off. Not, I'm probably going to go a little wild card. I'm going to say it's Edge. Oh, you're going to Edge. I, I'm okay. going to, I'm going to go with Edge. So here we go. Last, six, the last what seven men? Absolutely. Seven left. And uh, boss man and them. boss man and Austin uh, throwing hams there. Mysterio Junior uh, going up against the Rock. 
Edge is dazed in the corner. Big suplex by Andre the Giant here. Any one of these, anyone at this point, any one of these men can take it. Um, I believe Andre is the is is has had the most time in this match at this point. That's true, but I mean, with a man that big, how much endurance does he have? Uh, and what is it going to take to get rid of it? That's questionable. I'm telling you, it's going to take. It's going to take. Uh, it's going to take probably the the rest of the men in this ring and to throw him out. they start working together, we're going to have a problem. And there goes go. JBL. Here's a chance right here. JBL, JBL working Andre on Andre over the top, trying to get rid of him. And Andre holding on for dear life. And it looks like the boss man, the boss man, just taking his time and just pandering to the crowd. He could be helping. Wait right a minute! Now. It looked, it looked, it looked like he, he was about to. He but was he, thinking about it. He but said, Andre comes up. back in. No, it, it looks like it looks like the boss man wanted to work on JBL, but now Edge throwing the boss man out. Boss man quicker than a hiccup getting back into the ring. Yeah, he can, he can't be eliminated this early. Coming in at twenty nine. He has to make a push, otherwise he's going to go right back to where he was before. And he's trying to put his name in the hat. And Edge wearing him down, but Boss Man reversing. Looks like Big going for the splash, and he missed it. And now Rock and Austin back at it again. Just Always. Those, it's like a magnet. They those, can't stay away from each other. Those just, two just polar opposites constantly attracting. And, and, and we love to see it. We love to oh, see. Oh, absolutely! And it looks like it looks like Austin's been busted open and here. Now Ray and Andre going Dave, at it. Dave, classic David and Goliath. Here we go! Big chop block from Ray. And now Edge and Rock back and forth fists. Trying. To, it looks like we're finally trying to team up on Andre here. Andre is stunned. He's in the corner. And no one is trying to get rid of. Uh, this is a problem. Not paying attention to Andre. And now and not working together to get rid of him. Rock but. rolling under the ring for some safety, but Edge pulling him back in. And it looks like... Uh, oh, thought, oh, oh, Ray, 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 Ray just got rid of the boss man. Oh, my gosh. Well, looks like the boss man is not going to be champion this time around. And he is living. Ray Mysterio Jr. could be the wild card in this match. I know I might have said Edge earlier. But Rey Mysterio He's Jr. He's won one before he, and with a lot longer time. That's absolutely true. But this is this is a much younger Rey Mysterio. This is a Rey Mysterio who has 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 captured uh, cruiserweight gold. This this is a, a very young uh, aspiring Mysterio Jr. Now the Rock holding on for dear life. Uh, Able to roll back in, and, and Austin immediately catches him just, on the way back just in. Just when you think The Rock comes up, Austin brings him right back down to reality. And now Austin going after Andre again. This, this, Here we go again. This, this could this could be it. Austin with the reverse atomic drop on uh, on Andre there, and now laying those ham those fists in the, in the Andre's face, and Andre. Sliding under the ropes again, and Austin going back to the rock. But now Mysterio Jr. Uh, picking up Andre and just letting him walk while Edge and uh, Edge and Mysterio go at it. Austin and Rock back, back and forth. forth. Big clothesline by Austin. Big and power beautiful. slam by Andre onto JBL. And what is JBL it? has been holding on, trying to dual title it as well. And now Austin's over the ropes. And, 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 and Rock's working on it. Rock is working is Rock on it. Is Rock going to eliminate Austin here? He is. The Rock eliminates Stone Cold. Oh. The Rock eliminates Stone Cold. Oh, down to five. that's going to have repercussions. That's going to have repercussions oh. in Dreamscape. You mark my words. Austin is very, Austin, Austin is, is not upset. happy. Austin is livid. And the Rock, it is down to five. Rock. Mysterio, Edge, Andre, JBL. One of these men is going to be crowned DSW World Champion At of the World. At this point, my pick's been eliminated. I'm switching my pick to Andre. They are not working together enough to eliminate Andre. And now Mysterio trying to eliminate Edge on the side. And is, is it, oh, can, can Ray do it? Oh, wait, wait. Can, can Ray... Eliminate Edge. Can He's Edge hold on for dear life? And Edge fights back. And now, and now the Rock coming back up, catching his breath here. Rock with that underhook DDT. DDT out of nowhere. Rock taking a breather there, and now uh, 
uh, coming back. Hey, fighting back. And that, oh, I thought he was going for that classic face buster of his. Mm. Hits him with the gut buster. You know, JBL, the, the more the more trouble. the more time Andre and spends in this Andre match, the more JBL. likely he is he the more chance he has to 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 win. Basically, absolutely. This is this is a problem for everybody, and there goes there JBL. goes JBL. Now we're down that to the final four. That is the powerhouse of who is left. So how do they get rid of Andre? This is this is a problem. We this are down to the final four. Edge, Rock, Mysterio, Andre. Who will be the first Dreamscape Wrestling Undisputed Champion? We're gonna we're we're definitely gonna find out very very soon. But right now, Andre the Giant is just working. He is literally stomping on Rey Mysterio as if he were a small creature. Um, Rey Mysterio trying to fight back and wait a minute. What? Whoa! Wow! wow. The surprise! He slammed move. the giant. The power of Mysterio. <laughs> Never thought you'd hear me say that. But weight, weight detection is not a thing. I guess okay. not. But Andre's <laughs> down. Rock is down, and Mysterio and Edge. Oh my oh, gosh! Little bridge. Mysterio, Mysterio has Little eliminated bridge. Edge. And now he's looking for someone to kick out, but he has no one to jump onto. So he goes after the Rock. Oh my gosh, Mysterio! We're down to three. Mysterio, the Rock, Andre, the Giant. Oh. Either way, I would say the future of Dreamscape Wrestling is in good hands. And now Mysterio working on the Rock there, that Lucha Libre style against the the Rock's uh, powerhouse style. Andre Mysterio back definitely to his feet, Mys exactly where you don't want him. Exactly, and not only that, uh, up against uh, two smaller performers. And look at Andre. Look at Andre being intelligent, not jumping right into the fight. And now Andre Catching going after breath. the Rock, but Mysterio. Mysterio What's the Rock for himself? Uh, was is that was that the wise the the wisest move by Mysterio? I don't think so, but I, I but you know what I think Mysterio is a competitor. Mysterio wants to fight. Mysterio is not going to back away because someone else wants to get into the fight. And now The Rock turning his back to his opponent, pandering to the crowd was that is that a uh, is that the best idea? Oh, the double team, double, a big double and team. Now the, and now, now they were. Oh my God! Oh, Rey Mysterio! Rey Mysterio! Close on the Rock! The Rock off guard and eliminates him. We have David versus Goliath, Mysterio versus Andre. And Mysterio Who looked like he was going will for be champion. It looked like Mysterio was going for a, a, a huge move from the top rope, but decided not to go for it. And now throwing Andre into the corner, trying it's to eliminate smart, him there. Smart. I think Ray knows that Andre is not going to be knocked down by his a seated sentence. But was it the but was it the smartest idea to eliminate the Rock? Because now. The smallest, the smallest performer that we have is up against the the giant. Yes, and and Andre just just doing what he wants with Rey Mysterio right now, and Rey jumps over the back. That, that quickness of Mysterio, and a though. Big Edge Omatic in honor of Edge, who he just eliminated, and now a drop, drop kick, kick to, to the, the knee, knee, taking out the legs of Andre and the Rey Giant. Rey Mysterio starts to get going here. Andre the Giant has spent the most amount of time in this match of these two. Ray, the fresher, the Big fresher man, drawing number Andre. thirty. Can can Rey Mysterio defy the odds and take out the largest competitor in this match? These men have to be so tired. Even Rey Mysterio at thirty, and there goes Andre. Andre God, holding on for dear life. There. Mysterio just. Missing Big the opportunity. Mysterio missing the mark and letting Andre roll back into the ring. But, I mean, again, even at 30, when you come in to the ring with the likes of Stone Cold, The Rock, Edge, Andre the Giant, JBL. Edge, you are going to be tired by the time it gets to the final two. And here we are as Ray again trying to show that power, trying to get Andre over the top. But no Andre way. not letting it happen. Andre is not going to let this little man throw him oh, over the top and rope. There's the power. The there's the commanding the power of Andre the Giant. And and this might be over. I, I don't see how this could happen. Mm -hmm. Ray has all the fight in the world, but I don't see this going. It's any not other about way. it's it's not about the size of the dog in the fight. It's about the size of the fight in the dog. And, and is Ray, this it? Is Ray? this gonna be? Oh, a, oh, we, have oh, a oh, we have a champion. We have a champion. We have a champion. The new Dreamscape Wrestling Undisputed Heavyweight Champion, 
Ray Mysterio! Ray Mysterio Jr., the first DSW champion def oh defeating dirt 29 other oh men. My God. Make sure you tune in next week to Dreamscape Wrestling to see the fallout of this crazy night.